good morning today we will discuss mains questions related to reasoning see directions 1 to 5 read the given information carefully then answer the questions in a apartment there are 5 flats each were numbered as k1 k2 m1 m2 and j1 5 men a b c d e lives with their wives p q r s t not necessarily in the same order in these flats these are these men are teacher lawyer doctor scientist and engineer by profession all the above information is not necessarily in the same order we have some additional information b is a doctor the person who lives in k1 is a scientist the one who is an engineer lives in m1 and is not married to r a is not a lawyer r is married to e d is a teacher one whose profession is a teacher does not live in j1 q1 uh, then q lives in m2 and is married to a lawyer c is not married to t who is married to a teacher p is not living in m1 now here we are having uh, see five persons these are the names of the husbands these are the names of the wives p q r s t are the wives they live in five flats k1 k2 m1 m2 and j1 so here men are having the professions that is teacher lawyer doctor scientist and engineer and the information is given so let us open one four column table first husband next is the wife next is the flat next is the profession that is the job so husbands are having the job men are having the job husband wife flat then followed by profession so this is one table since there are five persons just do five parts three four now it will be five now let us start the puzzle see from where we should start b is a doctor the person who lives in k1 is a scientist the person who lives in k1 is a scientist you can start randomly also person who lives in k1 flat k1 the person who lives in flat k1 he is scientist what is his profession scientist then the one who is a engineer the one who is a engineer lives in m1 and is not married to r then q is living in m2 married to a lawyer now q is the name of the wife so q is the name of the wife lives in m2 lives in m2 and is married to lawyer so q husband we don't know what is his name but he is a lawyer next d is a teacher one who is engineer lives in m1 here m1 we will take and he is engineer he is not married to r so here we won't get r then b is a doctor b means the name of the husband let us take b here and here we will take doctor b is the doctor now we are having one job that is teacher so one fellow one person is left he is a teacher next d is a teacher it is clearly given d is the teacher so d is the name of the husband and d is the teacher a is not a lawyer a is not a lawyer a is not a lawyer then c is not married to t who is married to teacher so t is married to teacher so d is married to t and c is not married to t that is clearly given p is not living in m1 p also does not live in m1 p does not live in m1 one who has teacher profession does not live in j1 so here we will get j1 so we got k1 m1 
m2 j1 so remaining thing left out is k2 so t for k2 t for k2 next one engineer is not married to r r is married to e now r is married to e means here we won't get r definitely here only we will get r and r is married to e q is not married to a so here we will get a here we will get c here we will get c here we won't get p so b is married to p now we are having s a is married to s so this is the total information we are having now we have to go to the questions okay let us see the first question this is the thing we got which of the following pairs is definitely correct so out of this one which is correct t scientist s lawyer or teacher the fourth option should be actually it is wrong it is repeated it is p doctor fourth option is p doctor which is definitely correct who is the lawyer by profession lawyer is c what is the profession of b b is the doctor who is the husband of s yes. so s yes, husband is a which are the following pairs lives in j1 in j1 we are having b and p so this is the correct pair living in j1 now let us answer the next questions now these are the questions related to syllogisms in syllogisms sometimes it will be asked which one logically follows or which one logically does not follow here which one logically follows let us see the first question 50% angel is heaven 50% is nothing but sum some angel is heaven no hell is heaven 100% hell so all hell is devil some devil is bad okay now 100% is nothing but all first conclusion some angel is hell we can say that some angel is not hell but some angel is hell does not follow some heaven is bad there is no relation between heaven and bad which does not follow so first one some angel is hell some angel is hell does not follow no angel is hell which also does not follow but if you see the first option third option these two are called as complementary pairs we are having three complementary pairs one is all some not second one is some no third one is some some not these are called as complementary pairs here some angel is hell no angel is hell is called as complementary pairs so answer is either one or three follows that means option 5 is the correct answer let us see the next question question number 7 all cash is money no money is crypto some bank is crypto and 1% bank is nifty first one all cash is money no money is crypto no money is crypto some bank is crypto 1% bank is nifty some money can be bank so here can be means possibility here if you see the diagram money and bank there is no relation hence any possibility definitely follows no money is bank does not follow money and bank has no relation all crypto is not cash all crypto is not cash here it is given no money is uh, crypto so if no is there for outer circle for inner circle also no definitely follows no cash is crypto definitely follows no cash is crypto or all crypto is not cash both are same so third one definitely follows first one also definitely follows so answer 1 and 3 follows both 1 and 3 definitely follows 
Next one, every truth is spoken. That means all truth is spoken. Some spoken is Hindi. Some spoken is Hindi. No English is Hindi. No English is a lie. First one, some Hindi is truth. See here, we don't have any relation between Hindi and truth. That means it may follow or it may not follow. We cannot say it definitely follows. No lie is spoken. This also no relation does not follow. Some English is spoken. Some English is spoken. So here we are having English, here spoken, no relation. This also does not follow. So answer none follows is the correct answer. Let us see the next question, question number 9 to 11. These are also syllogisms. Now today we are covering so many syllogism questions. In each of the questions, some statements are given followed by some conclusions. You have to take the given statements to be true. Even, they, even if they seem to be at variance with commonly known facts, then decide which of the conclusions logically follows. First one, only few potato is tomato. This is potato and tomato. So here, this is only few. Only few tomato is carrot. Only few tomato is carrot. Only carrot is pea. That means all pea is carrot. Here, whenever you are getting only, you have to understand the relation between pea and tomato will be no. No pea is tomato, no pea is potato. So, whenever you are getting only carrot is P, that means you have to write all P is carrot and the relation of P with tomato is no, the relation of P with potato is also no. First one, all tomato can be potato. Some tomato is potato, if some is there, all is a possibility definitely follows. No P is potato, just now I told the relation of P with potato is no, so second one definitely follows. All carrot can be tomato, which does not follow. Why it does not follow? See this uh, figure. This is P. This is carrot. Now, all carrot is tomato. If I draw like this, all carrot is tomato, then all P also will be tomato. But according to the question, only carrot should be P. Tomato cannot be P. Therefore, the third one does not follow. So, only 1 and 2 definitely follows. Third one does not follow. Let us see the tenth question. Only A is B. Only A is B means all B is A. All B is A. Next one. Some A is C. Some A is C. No C is D. Some D is E. The relation of B with C is no. No B is C definitely follows. No B is D also definitely follows. No B is E also definitely follows. Here, some B is C which does not follow. All E being A is a possibility. All E being A. There is no relation between E and A. Therefore, the second one definitely follows. All A or D. All A or D does not follow. The relation of A with D is some not. Some A is not D. All D, some D being A is a possibility. So here, some D being A. There is no relation between D and A. And uh, some D being A is a possibility. If there is no relation, any possibility definitely follows. Here, second one follows and fourth one follows. Answer 2 and 4 definitely follows. Next one, only few phones are mobiles. Only few means phones, mobiles. Only few means both some and some not. When you are, you are getting only few, the meaning is both some and some not. Next one, all mobiles are stores. All mobiles are stores. Only few stores is shops. Only few stores is shops. First one, each phone can be mobile. Each phone means every phone can be mobile. Here, the relation between phone and mobile is only few. That means some and some not. 
whenever you are getting sum not you cannot write all phone can be mobile so sum not which not all rad each is nothing but all so if you are getting sum not all does not follow a few shops being phone is a possibility a few shops being phone see here no relation between shop and phone so any possibility definitely follows no phone is a shop no phone is a shop that does not follow since there is no relation so only second one definitely follows then next one 12 to 13 study the following information carefully then answer the question in a school there are three students ram sham and mohan gave some statements which could be considered true based on the statement find out which conclusions logically follows first one all smart or poor this is nothing but syllogisms only but uh, here instead of giving directly they have given like three persons are giving three statements there is no difference all smart or poor some poor is not rich this is how you have to represent some not some not all rich is super all rich is super now first one no smart is rich there is no relation between smart and rich which does not follow so here we are we are identify which one definitely follows no super is smart also no relation this also does not follow all smart being rich is a possibility see here this is smart this is rich there is no relation between these two circles if there is no relation any possibility definitely follows third one definitely follows so 3 is your answer option 3 is your answer next question let us see the next question 13th one no square is a triangle no square is a triangle then some circles are squares some circles are squares all rectangles are circles r for rectangle here r for rectangle all rectangles are circles now some circles are triangle here circle and triangle the relation is sum not therefore first one does not follow the second one some rectangles are square again there is no relation which does not follow all rectangles are square that is also does not follow no rectangle is square that also does not follow it is none of this so generally if you see here some rectangle is square no rectangle is square are called as complementary pairs if it is given complementary pairs your answer is either b or d if you are having like that option but since you don't have that option your answer is none of this but if you see these two statements for this one some rectangles are square no rectangle is square means either one or either b or d because these two are called as complementary pairs let us see the next one 14 to 16 in the following questions a set of statement is followed by some one of which does not definitely does not follow we should identify which one definitely does not follow that means there will there might be some statements which may or may not follow but that is not our, our answer we have to tell which one definitely does not follow and that is only your answer first one all red or colors next all black or colors next some colors are white next no white is black again drawing black this is black this is also black now let us see uh, first one some red is white some red is white here there is no relation between red and white that means it may follow or may not follow so we should not consider this one as the answer because it may follow or it may not follow some red or black again there is no relation between red and black again it may follow or it may not follow and this is also not our answer no red is white see here no relation between red and white that means it may follow or may not follow this is also not your answer now you see the fourth one all red being white is a possibility all red 
being white is a possibility. Now, let us see this one. All red being white is a possibility. Whether it follows or does not follow, that we have to see. All red being white is a possibility. Here, this is red, this is white. So, all red being white is a possibility definitely follows. Here, it may or may not. This also, it may or may not. This also, it may or may not. This one definitely follows. You see the last one, all colors being white is a possibility. All colors being white. Now, for this, you see carefully, no white is a black. It is given like this. No white is a black. Here, all black are colors. If all black are colors, I can write some colors are black. Some colors are black. Now, the relation between colors and white means some not. Some colors are not white. If you are getting some colors are not white, all colors being white is a possibility, definitely does not follow. Here you can clearly say some colors are not white. That means all colors being white is a possibility, definitely does not follow. Let us see the next question, 15th one. Some A is B. Some A is B. All B is C. All C is D. No D is E. See this one. All A being E is a possibility. You, you see the first statement itself will get the answer. The relation of A and E is some not. Since no D is E, here A is there in some part of E. So, some A is not E definitely follows. If you are getting some not, all A is E is a possibility does not follow. First one itself does not follow. So, one is your answer. Let us see the next question that is question number 16. All books are copies. All books are copies. All copies are register. All copies are register. No register is a diary. No register is a diary. No pencil is a book. No pencil is a book. These are all the statements. Now, we have to identify which one does not follow. Let us see the first one. Some register being pencil is a possibility. This is the register. This is the pencil. Actually, the relation of register with pencil is some not. If some not is there, some is a possibility definitely follows. Which one does not follow? That is your answer. Some books are not copies. Now, you see here, it is given all books are copies. All books are copies means you can say some books are copies. Some books are not copies. Definitely does not follow. So, second one itself does not follow. Now, again 17 to 18, we have to identify which one logically follows. Logically follows. First question. Some cup is a T. Some cup is a T. No sweet is cup. No sweet is cup. Only few T is sour. Only few T is sour. All Tata is T. This is Tata. All Tata is T. Now, first one. Some Tata are not sour. Some Tata are not sour, which may follow or may not follow. So, this is not your answer. Some tea are not sweetest. Some tea are not sweet. See here, this is tea, this is sweet. So, some tea are not sweet definitely follows. Second one definitely follows. First one may or may not follow. Then, some sour are not tea. There is no relation. So, it may follow or it may not follow. Some sour are definitely not sweet. There is no relation. So, here we can clearly say only second one definitely follows. Next question. Some doors are windows. Let us see the 18th question. Some doors are windows. Some doors are window. Some windows are rooms. All rooms are houses. All rooms are houses. All houses is building. 
all houses is building no house is a door again i am writing one more time door you can draw like this also but you will get confused that's why i am writing double time no house is a door now you have to identify which one definitely follows first one no door is a building see this is door this is building so no door the relation there is no relation between door and building the first one does not follow second one some windows can never be houses some windows can never be houses which definitely follows see if you are not understanding this diagram i am drawing one more thing see this is house this is door some windows are houses we are having like this this one this only this diagram i again drawing some windows are houses no house is door here windows and doors the relation is some not the relation of windows and doors is some not therefore some windows can never be can never be is nothing but some not so which definitely follows some buildings are not doors some buildings are not doors again for third one let us take the third one some buildings are not doors now you see this one this is all houses are buildings all houses are buildings can be drawn like this some buildings are houses this one all houses are buildings some buildings are houses no house is a door no house is a door again some buildings are not door some buildings are not door definitely follows second one follows third one definitely follows now if you observe the first one and fourth one no door is a building some buildings are door these two are called as complementary pairs so here what is your answer second definitely follows third definitely follows and either one or four why because these two are complementary pairs second third and either one or four so option is uh, fourth one second one definitely follows third one definitely follows no door is a building some buildings are door or are taken as complementary pairs so either one or four follows so with this we completed uh, today's uh, reasoning and in the monday class again we will discuss uh, quant mains questions